Howdy, my totally tubular sharkaholics. We're back. Another shark scale. We're getting closer to the end here. We got sharks of the corn. Yeah, the cornfield is where the sharks are. I mean, we're just getting real creative now. I mean, the cornfield. I never even thought of that one. What are you doing? Stop know. it. <laughs> so sharks of the corn is an interesting one that's for sure it takes place in pretty much the middle of nowhere so probably some town that has under a 10,000 population anyway this couple is hanging out in a cornfield and then basically what happens is some sharks end up killing this woman and the small town investigates what the hell is going on and then there's a bunch of other plot lines involved, like this one with the CIA, there's one with the deranged killer shark cult. Yeah, there's a few plot lines in this movie. I'd say there's around four or five plot lines in this movie, and they're all decently different from each other, but they're all able to actually converge in a way that actually kind of is impressive considering how low budget this movie is. It almost seems a bit ambitious, to be honest, for a movie of this caliber, but the plot lines are able to come together in a way that makes enough sense. I mean, I, I guess. The ending makes sense, and I didn't think there were any unresolved plot lines. At least, it didn't appear that way. I could be totally wrong, though. Now, the story isn't a masterpiece or anything. I'm just saying it is a bit impressive that they were able to actually have a decent conclusion that made even a little sense. So, all that is good. Now, what isn't good is the pacing. The pacing is just... It's not good. It has too many unnecessary scenes, too many establishing shots, and the runtime of this movie is just way too long. It needs about 30 minutes cut from it. Yeah, probably like 30 minutes because, yeah, it's just too long. The first like hour, hour five minutes just doesn't really have all that much going on. Like, it's kind of just setting everything up and it just takes way too long. I think it could have been done in a much shorter time and it would have been more entertaining. And if they cut out all these stupid panning shots, that's like five minutes right there. The pacing with some of these characters could be better. Their plot lines are pretty damn stupid and the end of the movie is a pretty funny moment. And they actually just end up doing callbacks to earlier in the movie. There's even like some fan service like thrown in there, I, I guess. Despite the poor pacing, I actually think the plot was pretty alright. It was okay. The last like 30 minutes, maybe even like upwards of 40 minutes, actually pick up quite a bit and actually have a lot of progression, a good pace, and it's actually decently interesting. Like, it's so bad it's good. You really want to see what happens next. And it just completely goes off the walls, silly and goofy and cheesy, and I like that. I like that they can just kind of go nuts at the end, and I'd much rather have a shark movie that goes off the rails than a stupid one that takes itself way too seriously, when it's clearly not. I mean, this is about sharks in a cornfield, so at least it goes off the better route. So how about the sharks in this movie? How bad are they? Because you know they're not going to be good. Well, these are some pretty stock standard shark models moving through a cornfield. They don't exactly do anything well, like at all. They look pretty bad, they look pretty basic, the animation is stiff as hell, uh, they clip through the corn, there's no account of physics or logic or common sense really when it comes to anything related to the sharks. I mean, they're moving through the field, they look as goofy as you'd expect. I can say the kills, I mean, obviously there's some originality here since it is in a cornfield. I have not seen sharks hunting people in a cornfield, at least I don't think so. I, Yeah, I don't think so, there's no way. And sure, they all are pretty basic kills, minus one awesome, awesome kill. But even the most basic kills are amplified because it is in a cornfield on land. That one really awesome kill is where a shark takes a helicopter down. That was great. You also got to take into account that it's pretty budget. It's pretty small time. And I mean, I can give it a marginal pass. I mean, you got to realize what like you're watching. You got to take it into context. I mean, these are... I would say they're like on sci-fi as an SYFY level. I mean, it's about that, and this is probably just made by a handful of people. It's so bad, it's good. And the sharks are the only monsters that uh, show up, so that's always a plus. And when it comes to the screen time, again, the pacing of this movie is just not great. The beginning part is just not great. There's not many sharks in that first, like, hour. And it's like the last 30 minutes, 40 minutes where... Yeah, they show up a lot more, and so the pacing for the sharks and, like, just the screen time, it's a bit questionable. That's really the movie's biggest problem, is the pacing. And that's not to say the acting is great or anything, because, uh, when we're talking about the acting and... Yeah, it's pretty standard for a movie of this quality. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a lot of people's first time ever acting, because they sure as hell acted like it. There's a few characters here that, sure, they can kind of act. There's a little girl here, she's probably like 10. 
say she's pretty good. Uh, our main bald dude, who is not Vin Diesel, he gets passed from me, and pretty much everyone else is down the toilet. It's pretty bad. It's what you would expect from like an indie flick. Actually, most indie flicks are probably more high quality than this. This is just bad. I mean, it's not atrocious. It's not gonna hurt me. It's just like, yeah, it's not very good. But despite it not being very good, I don't think it really affected my entertainment and general enjoyment with this movie all that much. I mean, I wasn't expecting to, it to be very good. In fact, I wasn't expecting it to be good at all. I thought it was just going to be truly shit, but hey, it wasn't that at least. What I'm saying is there's some enjoyment here, and what I'm really trying to say about the movie in general is I expected this movie to be a steaming pile of crap. I'm not going to lie. I was like, dude, I don't want another stupid shark movie made by like college students at this point. But you know what? I was surprised. It wasn't actually that bad. I was mildly entertained for the most part. I'm not going to say it was great or had anything super memorable. All the acting was uh, definitely not superb. And the premise was at the very least, it was well executed. It was pretty damn stupid in like every imaginable way. But they really played it up. And the movie was lighthearted enough that I was like, you know, this is so ridiculous that it's actually good. It's good. But do I recommend this movie? I mean, maybe. I maybe will recommend the movie. I mean, I'm not going to say go out of your way to watch it. I'm not even going to say that if you want to watch a shark movie, you should watch this one first. I mean, there's dozens, and I mean dozens of better shark movies with similar enough presences. Just, uh, there's enough shark movies that are really similar to this, except they're not in a cornfield. I mean, that's the biggest thing, is they're not in an environment like a cornfield. That's the movie's biggest strength, is that it's in a cornfield. It's pretty stupid. That's another strength, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. But you know what? All in all, I would recommend this movie over a hell of a lot of other shark movies, especially ones I've seen this year. So it does have that going for it. This was one of the more entertaining ones I've seen all year. I was laughing pretty much the whole movie. Like, this movie all around is very funny. Like, it is very funny, and its biggest issue is the pacing. If they really trim the movie down quite a bit, and got rid of some of these stupid panning shots and some of the more useless dialogue that was present, I think they could have really had a solid stupid shark movie on their hands, but what we have is a pretty average shark movie in general, but it does have a lot of funny moments to it. And the fact that the movie's even average and just not a steaming pile of shit is honestly surprising to me. Like, I'm still kind of shocked that I even liked this movie to begin with, like, I didn't feel like I wasted my time, I didn't feel like it was crap, I didn't really want to watch it at first, and then once I started watching it, I got more and more intrigued, and by the end of it, I was like, huh, I actually had a good time watching that. And so despite it being pretty average, I had a pretty good time with it. And with that, I'm going to give it a nice, solid 3 out of 5 on the shark scale with the title of, like, average. Pretty stupid, pretty ridiculous, pretty out there. But if you support smaller directors, you want to see something pretty damn stupid, maybe this one's up your alley. Maybe. I mean, you could do worse. You could watch uh, Amityville. Oh, God. Don't remind me. Anyway, it's the end of this video. Kind of all over the place, I know. But so is this movie. So see you later. Sub, share.